So this uh, weekend is your turn to try some of the finest food and wine our area has to offer. It is Taste Washington weekend, and it marks 21 years of this celebration. It's such a good time. The entire yeah. weekend, full of events, 230 wineries, 65 restaurants. And this morning, Ellen Taylor telling us all about it. Ellen, best job again this morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, real quick, let me just tell you, uh, user error, new girl on TV, uh, muted my mic on accident. So I think it's on. I think y'all can hear me now. But uh, we are here. It looks like we're in the middle of a farm um, actually covered, thank God, because it's raining. But we are in the center of the University of Washington's campus right now. And I actually have Julia Parrish here talking about the importance of, you know, farming and how we can do it also in the city, because without farming, we can't get some of our favorite things like that one. So tell me a little bit about what you do here with the students. Hey Ellen, we do farming throughout campus. So just about everywhere you look on campus, not only here at the Center for Urban Horticulture, but outside of the dorms, outside of the student union, we've got farm plants growing. Now what kind of farm plants are we talking about here? Can you give me an example of some things that you guys grow? Well, everything from garlic to tomatoes. Uh, and now how important is it to tell people and educate even like our students and stuff that farming, especially in the city, is it is important and it's necessary. Absolutely. You know, I think that farming is actually most important for people in urban environments. So in Seattle, we have a great tradition of that. We have the pea patches and there's just about everywhere that you can go in the city and you can get a little patch and you can grow your own. And so the students here on campus are just doing the same thing. It was really important to them to start an urban farm and you know when the students want to do something we support it here at the U. Yeah that's awesome. Now what is maybe one tip for someone that wants to start urban farming? One thing that they need to know for sure or maybe a couple things real quick. Well gosh you know you can actually start an urban farm anywhere so a victory garden is just a little plot that you set up about a half meter square and you can grow tons and tons of stuff in it so growing your own there's just there's nothing better than the fresh vegetables and greens that you're getting from your own garden right. and it is totally possible to do here in downtown seattle as well uh whether you're living in an apartment or a house or wherever but taste washington is all this weekend and coming up we'll talk to uh some of the wine connoisseurs the commissioner coming up